hi guys and welcome to unreal engine tutorial of how to add audio to your game now you can hear it okay i'm gonna run it there we go if i jump you hear that and let's say we want him to collapse another sound you hear now that is it that's the other sound when it collapses. Okay, the background sound is what you're listening to now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys straight into Unreal Engine tutorial and we'll put one of these together. So let's do that now guys. And let's start a new tutorial afresh. So what I'm going to do now is first of all we need to get hold of some sound and just dump it right in here. So let's go into the sound that I've just downloaded from YouTube so i'm going to click on that that is the sound but the but the sound is an mp3 as you can see so i have to convert that into a wave sound so let's click on audacity if you don't have audacity make sure you try to get yourself one it's just it's free it's a free package anyway that is the sound right there i'm going to click on open and let's just export it let's click on export as a wave sound there we go that is it done yes desktop there and click on ok and that's all there is to that done so i can close this i don't need it i have no need for it anymore i'm just going to say closed there that is it done and if i go straight to my desktop now here is the sound that is it is from a guy called Ann Jones on YouTube so if you want it you can always get hold of it so I'm going to come in here just grab the sound drag drop and dump it right there there we go that is it so I don't have any need for this anymore as well okay now the next thing we have to do is once you drag your sound straight into your content drawer if you like you can create a folder for it right click on it and you select create cubes that is the right there you must right click on it and convert it to create cube look at it again create cube click on that there, there we go and the sound is now created I'm going to leave the default name in the honor of Ann Jones so I'm going to leave it like that there that is it so if you want to create a background sound all you need to do is just drag it on board but before that double click on your cube that you just created and that is the blueprint for it so if you select this speaker here you can either minimize the you can set the volume or you can also set the pitch the choice is yours then the other thing that you can do here is you see the node in there because it's going to be a background sound i'm going to select this very one this node i'll just click on loop there that is that done so i'm going to return to my development environment just peg that right there and let's go to the content draw that is it right there select it i'm going to enable the details and let's enable the world as well back into my content drawer there now let's select this sound that is the sound there okay the cube the create cube or the cube that we just created i would grab hold of it and just drag it dump it somewhere here that is it right here okay, let's put it here okay now let's move it up a little bit so that you guys can see it. that is the speaker that denote the sound on board okay why is selected you can come in here go back to your details in there and look for auto activate there we go that is the auto activate make sure it's checked and that's all there is to it so if i click on run i believe you can hear the music now that's the background music okay there that is that is how easy it is for you guys to embed your own background music and the other the other method i'm going to show to you now is i'm going to go straight into the the jump or the animation of the 
of the program we're working on. To get hold of the animation, go straight into the mannequin here. Click on the mannequin and that is the animation. Double click on the animation and you will see the different actors for the animation. Now, the one I'm going to work on, let's see, start jump. Look at it, this very one here. Can you see the start jump? Third person jump start. I'm going to double click on that. There we go. That is the third person jumping. Okay, I'm just going to click anywhere here. That is where I'm going to add the sound. I'll stop that from playing. Let's stop it. And let's say up and down here. Let's bring the player head somewhere here. Look at him jump. As soon as he lift up the ground, let's click somewhere here. Right click on it. You have to right click where you want to insert your animation, your sound or your audio. Right click on it, and you go to add notification or notify. Sorry, then you select play sound. Now I've selected play sound. Click on that object play sound. I don't have any sound for it. The sound we're going to be using is an inbuilt sound from the Unreal Engine building sound. You see where we have sound? Select that. I'm just going to look for anything, any kind of sound. I can see explosion. This is my own sound there. And Jones, Disco Climate. And let's look for something. Okay, let's grab this one, explosion. There, I've just added a sound in there right here that is one other method okay so say let's go back to our third person now and i'm going to play it and you guys will hear the explosion sound so if i press my space bar you hear that explosion sound there now let's stop that i'm going to get rid of the background sound i'm going to get rid of that so let's come in here and just delete so that you hear the explosion sound properly that is the background sound there i'm just going to press delete there it's gone okay let's run it again so that you guys can hear my explosion sound that i added to it when it jumps collapse that move it to the side and move this one to the side as well so run there we go so if i jump i'm going to press the space bar now you see that once more you hear that guys one more time there we go all right that is two method that you guys have just seen the next method i'm going to attach sound to it why is running if we there press collapse it we collapse okay so if i run it now press w you can see her run but if i press enter she's going to collapse so why she collapse i want a sound attached to a collapse motion as well so let's do that now okay let's go into the blueprint so i will come into content drawer and the blueprint for this very mannequin is right here third person and let's double click on blueprint there we go i will then double click on the icon of the blueprint so right underneath the blueprint that actually makes our fall that is it right here so let's collapse this very one or move it to the side okay that is it this is where i'm going to attach my my nodes so i'm going to right click on it and what I need is going to be play sound at location. So that is a right here. Okay, but where is the location? We don't know. Okay, so to take care of that, first of all, let's right click and add get actor location. So the system should be able to get the actor location for us. Actor location. There we go get actor location then the actor location i'm going to wire it into location here there we go it's wired straight into location this is my physics that actually make our collapse i'm going to wire that to the sound itself there we go but the problem is we don't have any sound selected yet so to select the sound 
looking here can you if you guys can see it let's see if we can zoom out a bit okay right here where we have sound drop that down we now want to select sound to it okay i'm going to select just any inbuilt sound okay i'm going to select this fire one i've already used explosion i'm going to select fire one fire one is inbuilt by unreal engine as well and that is it so when i press enter fire one we you will hear the sound fire one so let's save that and uh, we have to compile it as well now play so i'm now going to try out my system i will just press enter there we go that is the fire you see i'm falling over there we go there okay now now let's change the fire one sound so i'm going to end the whole process now let's come in here change the sound to something totally different what about maybe wave sound there run okay press enter there we go look at that <laughs> you see that there so that is how you add your own sound to your to your projects if i press w we can run around so let's let her run and jump jump that's the sound for jump jump one more time now collapse you hear that guys there we go and remember i deleted my background sound so let's go back in there the background sound i'm just going to drag that on board again then we we'll call it the end of the whole project so we'll come right down go to my content that is the background sound drag drop dump it there that is it now run there we go you hear that guys so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and you all have it please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel bye for now